Hi everyone and welcome back to Switch Up. With the gigantic sale coming to an end, do check out last episode. I'll pop a link to that in the top pin comment as many of those are still live. But this time around we've got some new picks for you. And in the absence of any real stinkers that I want to talk about this week, I've stuck a couple of deal of the weeks in at the end of this episode. You might as well save yourself 10% on any of these games using eShop vouchers purchased from switchup.gg using code SWITCHUP and we get a little kickback from each one. Let me know in the comments what you've been playing, what is on sale this week. Well, let's find out. First we've got the absolute hidden gem, Celeste. <laughs> no, I know it's not a hidden gem, but there's a Reddit forum dedicated to this game. And at the moment, it's its cheapest ever price, 75% off, and that's until June the 21st. It's a 1.5 gigabyte download, and it will take you about 8 to 10 hours, and it's developed by Mapmakes Games. Despite the cutesy visuals, it tells a really serious story, and Celeste is actually the name of the mountain that you're trying to traverse, and it's a metaphor for the main character's struggles. You play as Madeline, and there are lots of little nods and references to other games. Believe it or not, there's even a Dark Souls reference in here. They added in the brutal B-side chapters, and it just has a fantastic soundtrack. If you haven't got this one, add this to your list before it leaves our sales. A fantastic game. Then we've got the sponsor of this video, and usually I would just say the basics. I'd read off of the blurb and tell you what there is, but I've really been enjoying this. Now I'm a huge fan of Minecraft and simulation strategy games in general, and this one uses features seen in games like, uh, well not games like, but if you've ever used um, Scratch, have you heard of Scratch? It's a coding software, and it's simple logic based coding. But in this title you can essentially land on a planet, choose your location, and obviously the planets can be randomly generated and you've got different modes like survival and once you land you gather up all your resources you can craft these bots but then you can use basic scratch coding so you can program them and essentially end up with an autonomous colony some will be cutting down trees others will be replanting and it gets more and more complex based on your knowledge and understanding of the coding as you go along so you'll travel around the universe creating different settlements and evolve in the worlds so that you can do things like tailoring, fishing, farming, animal husbandry and it runs well and has that really nice low poly art style. I wish I'd had this when I used to teach because I was always trying to teach scratch but it was, well, there were some fun implementations of it but this is quality. If you're into something like Minecraft then give this one a bash. At the moment it's £14.39, that's a 10% discount until June the 22nd and it's a mere 1.03 gigabyte download. That then takes us onto the Metro Redux games. You've got Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light. At the moment they're the cheapest they've ever been, 75% off until June the 23rd. And they're some of my favourite first person shooter games on Switch. They include weapon customization, a full story mode and the included Spartan mode for basically only the toughest players. And there's even a survival mode in here as well. Obviously those massively reduce the amount of resources and they make what is already a very scary game into one that's quite horrific. It's a 6.2 gigabyte download for Metro 2033 and about 10 to 15 hours to beat the game. This one's in the US and it was on our sale last week so it's only right to mention it on your one. It's Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen and if you haven't already heard the awesome news, Capcom have announced that they have Dragon's Dogma 2 in the works and it uses the RE engine which I'm even more excited about because we've seen how well that runs on the Switch. I'm probably kidding myself, there's probably no chance we'll get it but I can only imagine it's sold like absolute hotcakes on Switch because it's amazing. So is there a chance? Maybe there's a chance? I don't know. I hope for goodness sakes we don't get a cloud version. It's currently 67% off in the Americas, taking it down to $9.99. An incredibly good game. And if you haven't watched the video that Capcom put, about, put out about the 10 year anniversary, go and check it out because it was just so nice to see them being nostalgic about why they came up with the uh, pawn system. P-A-W-N-S. And as far as gameplay length, you could complete it quite quickly. You could do this well, quite quickly. You could do this in about maybe 40 to 50 hours, but there's a lot more content in there if you want to stay for it. 
We're obviously now less than 10 days away from getting the new Monster Hunter installment on Switch, which I do hope we can bring you a full review of. And in the run-up, we've seen a lot of discounts on Rise and uh, the old mo older Monster Hunter game on Switch. But also, don't overlook the excellent Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. It's a fantastic JRPG. It has turn-based combat. You can befriend some of the monsters and then use those as mounts. And you're looking at a 50% reduction at the moment. There is a physical of this available as well, and that usually has um, sales on Amazon, so it's worth checking that out. But it's a 14 gigabyte download if you're going to go digitally, and around about 40 to 60 hours to finish, but again, more content if you want to stick around. Oli Oli World was a really fun time, but the price wasn't quite right for me at launch. It's currently its lowest ever price, 33% off until June the 30th, and it's a super chill skateboarding game that combines RPG elements. Well, no, more like adventure elements. You're moving across this large map, performing different um, tricks and jobs, and each stage has certain criteria to pass it, but there's a full storyline that that is there as you progress. Now it's not the longest game, it didn't take me long to complete this one, but when you do finish it, you unlock um, a new online mode, which is actually very cool, and then you can create your own tracks to compete with other players online, which was nice. I don't know why that wasn't there at the start, honestly. If you've played any of the Oli Oli games, you'll kind of know how these control, and while it didn't meet my full expectations, I'd say it's still a decent sales pickup. It's only 2.5 gigs. Ultra Age was created by a very small group of friends who took influence from the likes of Devil May Cry to create their own action-adventure game. I was very surprised by just how good it looks on Switch. It runs really well and there are some excellent boss fights in here. Now, without spoiling too much, the difficulty balancing was a little bit wonky at launch. I know they've released a few patches for it, so potentially that's... Um, fixed some of the well the, essentially there was one boss who was like ridiculously difficult and alex and i from switch corner were like um how are you getting on with the game and we were like uh yeah it's good but there's this one and then kind of a snap moment happened when we talked about the boss we got there in the end and beat it and the game did one of those things where you have to fight all the bosses at the end which in my opinion is a bit of a sin but it was still a fun experience and at the moment it's what $14.99 or your regional equivalent and I will be saying dollar prices this time around because I had promised I would pick out the best US based games for this sales video. You'll be able to see from the prices if they're available in your region. You're looking at about 7 to 10 hours to finish the game and it's single player only but a game that I really enjoyed and I can't wait to see what they can do with the sequel. Next up then, and not the cheapest that it's ever been, but Stardew Valley at the moment is 20% off, and it's already ridiculously cheap, isn't it? It's only $11.99 or £7.99 here in the UK. If you don't know what Stardew Valley is, uh, where have you been? But if you don't own it, what have you been doing? It's one of the most incredibly satisfying, but also unbelievably chilled sim lifes that you can possibly find on any platform. It's just pure game. It's pure enjoyment. Yeah, there are some cliches. You'll adopt a farm, you know, you'll have to go and build it up. And, and yes, you can marry people in town, but everything about it, from the music, the aesthetic, the different gameplay elements that aren't given huge amounts of attention, but are there for you to still go and enjoy, and the amount that they keep working on it. You know, they've added on online play. You can, I believe you can do uh, two player. Did they add in the multiplayer for, for one Switch or is it just online? You'll have to let me know in the comments. It's been a while. But it's a smile in a game. So if you're in desperate need of a smile, then uh, this would be a great one to add to your collection. As I say, just 1.4 gigs. You're looking around about, what, 60 to forever in terms of gameplay. And that sale, as I say, goes on until June the 26th. Now, it's been my hidden gem before, but for good reason. Paradise Killer is incredible. It's such an unusual mixture of, of adventure role-playing puzzle game with a whole detective mystery uh, draped over the whole thing. It's all set around an island, but it's an island filled with, um, well, essentially alien gods. You're re resurrected, essentially, after millions of years. The silver-tongued lady love dies. And it's up to you to try and solve this mystery by uh, traveling around the island, interviewing everyone, 
and piecing it together. There's tons of secret stuff on this island and the plot constantly shifts and the suspects change, which you'd expect from any good murder mystery. It's not overly long like it doesn't outstay its welcome, but it's really concise at around about 12 to 15 hours and it only has a download size of 3.7 gigs. And a final hidden gem then, because I haven't really got a kid's pick this week, it's Unto the End which is currently 60% off, taking it down to £8.99 or your regional equivalent. It's cheapest ever price and that's on sale until July the 13th, but it's a very cool skill-based, I guess you could say action adventure. It's difficult, like you're plunged into darkness at the start and you haven't got a clue what's going on. And it is one of those games that expects the player to figure out how to play. But I really liked it, I like the story that it tells without words, and I also really enjoy this aesthetic. If you're after just a reasonably short, around about four or five hours, tough as nails 2D adventure, then maybe consider this one. It can be a bit clunky in terms of dropping your main weapon, like sometimes certain actions will, you know, you'll have to either put it away or, or it'll drop to the ground. So there's a, there's a little bit of clunkiness here, but I still think it's a bit of a gem. I wish it was twice the length. This is one where it finishes and it's like, ah, oh, there should have been more. But when I'm paying less than half its retail price, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with a, a concise experience. But as I say, it's gonna be ones for, I guess, fans of Souls games, things that are difficult, you will die. But yeah, I enjoyed this. I think we, were, we met the developers a few years back in London and, and they were very cool as well. So yeah, check this one out. And this would take us usually onto our two avoid games, but we're gonna do two deals of the week, just real steals. And the first one has to be, and I know it goes on sale a lot, but it's been all patched up. It was patched up a year and a half after launch, so they were still working on it. And Glenn recently completed it. I've completed it when it wasn't patched, and it's so much better now. Plus, it's only £1.79. It's American Fugitive, 90% off until June the 26th. And around about a 10 to 15 hour adventure, that is uh, one of our deals of the week this week. Old school GTA style, but sent, set in like a yokel town. There are a few side activities like races, there could be a heck of a lot more, but it's still fun. The, the police AI is a bit wonky, like it can just find you sometimes, but there's also a very cool mechanic where you can go into people's houses uh, and essentially steal things, but there's like a timer counting down before you, you, you're you going to want to get out of dodge before the police come and find you. It's, it's a cool system, I like it. The final steal of the week then, or deal of the week, is the 80% off Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered. It's currently £6.99, that's 80% off, again until June the si uh, 26th. And someone put on the channel the other day, I was reading through the comments, trying to answer as many as we can, and someone was like, why do you never talk about racing games? And I don't know really, it just doesn't seem to come up that much. I think we've covered most of the big ones. But this version I, I thought was really good. It included all of the DLC. It was nice to play a game that didn't have loads of, uh, well, how do we put it nicely? Advertising in it. And look, it's not as good as Grid. You should own Grid if you have a Switch. It's brilliant on it. And you've got the choice as well of Burnout Paradise. If that tickles your fancy, you'd rather a more arcade experience. But either of those, Burnout Paradise or this, well worth picking up. So that's it. Once again, a big thanks to the sponsor of this episode, Autonauts. I'll pop links to it in the description and the top pin comment, so if you click those, you're supporting us just by going and having a look. Save 10%, use the code SWITCHUP over at switchup.gg, and just a massive thanks to our new patrons. We've got Saber Wolf back. That might not mean anything to anyone other than Glenn and I, but the guy's an absolute legend, and he's been with the channel, I think, since maybe less than 10,000 subscribers. Thanks to all of you and to our patrons, and for all things Switch, all the time, keep it Switch Up. Cheers, guys. See ya!